Hey guys, so today we are answering a subscriber question and the question in question was Frederick, more and more people in America are getting into programming. What do you think the impact of this is going to be for the industry? So let's get into it. Well, basically, well, this was like the question in and of itself was actually quite a lot longer than this, like what trends do you see, things of this nature. But I'll try to like kind of share my viewpoint in as to why people are getting into programming, like and more and more people are actually interested in this. And for me, there are two reasons as to why this is happening. On the one side, you have a, well, the one path is that a lot of people have a very romantic view of IT as it stands today. You are probably hearing quite a lot of um, a lot about machine learning, AI, and the fa these sorts of things, right? And I can share a story from my own school days where most of the developers that I went to school with, they or rather the students, they uh, by the first for the like. We had a full class when I started. After roughly the first year, more than uh, roughly half of my new classmates had already like left the program. And by the end of the ed education, only a fourth of the original class was still there. And most of these people were basically interested in learning games development because they wanted to make computer games. They were gamers. They love computer games. Now, that is one path into this, where people have this idea that programming is this cool thing that you can do a lot of stuff with, and that is absolutely true, but very few people are aware of the type of investment that is required in order for you to actually be able to make anything meaningful. The thing that was the biggest letdown for more, more, as, you know, more than half my class was the fact that, all right, they came in with the ambition of making computer games, and then they actually tried to make one, and they realized that, shit, even making a simple game is a lot of work. A lot, 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 lot of work. Not even to mention the sort of games that they might be used to playing, where, like, it's... Uh, I'll just tell you this. It is a big eye-opener to be, try to become a programmer, because my, my guess is if you've never tried to make anything meaningful yourself, you've probably just consumed things, and you've probably even criticized like bad games and things of this nature. Try to build yourself, and you will start to realize how much fucking work that goes into making even a shitty computer game, and you will get a completely new respect for the people who are actually attempting to do this. So, that is one part of it. The other part is that there is quite quite a few people who are, you know, they're going into it for the money. Like they have heard that there's quite a lot of money to be made, there's a lot of job security and things of this nature. And this is absolutely true. The thing is that although this is true, it doesn't really it doesn't really stand in proportion into the sort of to the sort of investment that you actually have to make in order to become good at this profession. But it is absolutely a path. And if you look at countries such as, say, India and in Russia, you will see that there's quite a few people who go into programming because it, among the technical professions, it is probably one of, if not the best option for you today I mean, in terms of job opportunities. If you are a good programmer, you can pretty much work wherever you want and you are fairly you can be fairly certain that you will be I mean, assuming that you actually keep your value in the marketplace, you're going to have a job for a very long time and make quite a good, you know, a fairly decent salary. So the way that I think about it is that programming is, and probably other people have told you this, it's becoming a, well, a new, like the new blue collar job. It's the job where you know that it's it's on the high end of things, but it's not so, I mean, it's, it doesn't represent the same sort of investment as the absolute top-notch paid jobs in the world, you know, the, the absolute top-notch jobs. It's on the high end, but it's still accessible to people. So I just personally, I think that this migrate, like this trend around programming comes partly from the, the romantic view, but it also comes from just a pragmatic mind, mindset from a lot of the students. 
you know, you know, before programming, there were other jobs that people went into just for the sake of financial security and prospects, if you will. It used to be the case that all ki all the kids out there in the world wanted to be a doctor, and today these things are moving towards programmers and software developers, and people want to be, you know, founders of their own companies and CEOs and entrepreneurs and all that good stuff. So I think that's a very natural way that, thing, that things will move in this direction because, hey, the money is pretty good and there's quite a lot of jobs. And more so and than if you wanted to be, say, a medical professional or something of this nature. So that is the way that I think things are moving. The impact that I think that this is going to have on the industry is that we will see an influx of people to to the industry. But I don't think, I mean, maybe you're thinking that I'm going to tell you that your job is going to be threatened if you're, you're already a programmer. I don't think that's going to happen because what I think, my guess is that although there are an increasing number of people going into programming, I think that the industry, I the demand is still outpacing the supply that we have. It's very, very, it's still very hard to find good programmers. And that's the key word, good programmers. There's tons of people who know some basic code, but it's very tricky to find software developers that have the sort of skills that a more, the more advanced IT companies actually require. And a bigger problem is that even if you don't have the most advanced requirements as an IT company, you still need to deliver on tons and tons of projects and you mean the demand on IT has never been higher and it's going to go even higher as more and more companies realize that an, I, most uh, companies who want to make a, true success, make a truly successful business, they need a IT presence of some sort. And my guess, this is me just speculating fairly, fairly widely based on personal experience, is that the way the things are going to move is towards more off-the-shelf solutions. My guess is that technolo technology such as serverless and Kubernetes and stuff of this nature is going to have an increasing importance. And Mule, yeah, you may know about Mule, the integration platform. These sorts of technologies are going to have a bigger impact and a, like a bigger, have a bigger presence in IT, in IT because the fact of the matter is that we can simply not, we can't keep up with the demand of programmers. And that leaves us with only, in my world, uh, one feasible option to solve this problem, and that is to empower a person. Like you, we need to be able to take a decent programmer, like a, someone who knows some basic code, and turn them into a productive 10x programmer. That's uh, if you think about Kubernetes and Docker and like the even cloud the the cloud providers out there. It used to be the case that you had entire teams doing your operations and the innovations within that area has actually reduced that number down to just to like few and fewer people. And such things as Kubernetes allows you to slim it down even more. And I think that that trend will continue. And serverless is an example of one such technology where you can slim down the boilerplate and all the extra, uh, the, the noise around the actual business logic to the, the absolute bare minimum. My guess is that the impact of this increasing demand uh, or this increase in people's interest in going into programming is going to leave us in one situation, in, in one finally kind of situation. That's where I think everything is going towards. And that is going to be that you're going to have people who have some coding knowledge. And what they're going to be able to do is basically to pr perform these, like work with the, these various tools that are pretty much off the shelf solutions provided to us by Google, Facebook, Microsoft, etc., etc. And the people with a more in depth knowledge or an official education of something of this nature are very likely going to be like the you know the, what we call to, what we today call programmers they're likely going to be the people who provide things such as company specific abstractions or company specific frameworks to the the people who are actually going to write the bulk of the code because the the biggest like it's not a mistake, it's just that there is this assumption today that you need to have seasoned veteran programmers to make anything meaningful. And sometimes that is true, but it's not, it's not always true. A lot of the companies out there can actually make do with 
regular people with a basic understanding of software development as long as they have a few people on hand who really know their stuff. It is possible to write good software even for someone who isn't like a veteran and meet the needs of the industry without having, you know, without having to hire master programmers. And I think that that's the, that's the feasible option here. That, and I think that that's where we're going to head. So as more people get into programming, the, like the supply of programmers is going to go, go up. But the problem is that even though the supply goes up, the quality of programmers isn't going to be able, you, you're not going to be able to have a higher level of quality in programmers. You're just going to have more people. And the, the way to, kind of, to, to bridge that gap in my world is to do this exact thing. You need to provide better, off, better working, better tools, better tools that allow people with less skill to be productive and provide the business value that, that is required from the industry. So what I want you to take away from this is that although it is true that more and more people are going into programming, I don't see, like the, I don't see the, this being the solution to the fundamental problem within the, within the industry. And that is that you simply need, you have a higher and higher demand and your applications and the complica complexity of your systems are, I mean, it's going upwards. And we simply can't, we can't keep up with the pace. The, you want more sophisticated systems and you want more and the complexity goes up. We, we, we can't accommodate that. So the only option that I can see is that companies who are in the business of providing these tools that most of, our, of us use are going to have to provide us with, or and then them, that's probably what's going to happen. They're going to provide us with off-the-shelf solutions that cover most of our business needs. And then we will have master programmers and tech leads of this and people of this nature that basically sit all day and provide libraries and company specific frameworks built on top of these tools for all for the bulk of the people who are actually going to write the code. And these people are likely going to be people with a you know, a subset of the sort of skills that we have as a requirement for the industry today. This is just a guess, but I think that that's the way we're moving. And the pro positive side on the, for, for this is that more people are going to get into programming and most likely we're going to finally be able to meet the demand of the industry. The downside is that the people who are actually providing these tools are going to start like their tools are going to seep into the to our education system and they're going to get into a very dangerous position i mean if you think google and microsoft and uh, amazon are powerful today just imagine when their frameworks and their libraries are basically part of standard education if you want to be a programmer we'll see what happens have a great day